Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together to acknowledge the heroic contributions of Mark Go, who has done his mother, grandmother, and grand aunties proud. Singaporean lawyer Mark Go has dedicated his life to championing the rights of foreign domestic workers, offering pro bono legal counsel and representation for these women, and his efforts have made him a rare hero of the year 2012. Well, the foreign domestic, um, there was one case that really struck me, and that was a foreign domestic worker that was charged for attempting to poison her employer. Um, and she believed that by poisoning her employer, she could uh, go back to Philippines earlier. Uh, it was a misguided belief, and I, was, I saw her in prison, and uh, she told me that the only way to get back to the uh, Philippines in a cheap way was to get uh, convicted and then deported back to the Philippines. That was how naive they were, and it shows you very clearly, you know, um, the kind of cultural difference that they come from. The Association of Women for Action and Research, or AWARE's Hero and Heroine of the Year, is an award that recognizes outstanding achievements in gender equality. This year, two women were awarded AWARE's Heroine of the Year. One of them is Dr. Kanwal Jit Soin, founder of the Women's Initiative for Aging Successfully, or WINGS, an organization that helps older women achieve financial independence. And the other is Radha Basu, a senior correspondent with Straits Times. Well, older women have never been a sexy topic. <laughs> Young women are sexy, but older women, we want to make sure that they stay healthy, they age successfully, so that in old age they are not dependent upon their families and on society. And this will not only help them to live a life of self-reliance and independence, but will help the community and the nation. And we are the fourth fastest aging nation in the world. But we concentrate on older women, not because we have forgotten the men, but women are more approachable and they are more vulnerable in old age. And we hope that through the women, we can also get to the men and their families. So we care for all older people, men and women. I was lucky enough to have met seven of these women and interviewed them and we just put forward their, their stories and after that in the five weeks following that article or in the seven weeks following the article the government assured uh, people about five times including at the UN that they would be getting tough on trafficking and soon we had a, a, we, we had a trafficking national plan, a master plan and so forth so, you know, things were working same with um, I mean, elderly people and, you know uh, caregivers who need help And so, uh, the good thing about this government is when you point out something that there's a gap and it's true it's true, they, they listen very fast Another winner is publichouse.sg for the article which tackled section 157D of Singapore's Evidence Act which made it possible to discredit an alleged victim of sexual assault in court through her sexual history. Our story was to do, uh, we wanted to do a story on, uh, on the AWARE's new program at that time, Sexual Assault Defender Services. Um, as we were looking into that story, we came across this uh, issue, this uh, Section 1570. And after we took a look at it, um, we realized that you know this is even this is this is an issue that needs to be put out there for the law to be changed, and so uh, we decided to send it to various ministries. I think and uh, I think there were five, uh, including the Ministry of Law, Home Affairs, uh, Attorney General Chambers, uh, Reach, and MCYS. Yeah, so the Ministry of Law uh, responded, and then. Um, the law minister met with aware and then, you know, yeah, it was repealed. Other award winners include the Body Shop Stop Sex Trafficking for Children and Young People campaign for Campaign of the Year, Board Agenda for Court of the Year, Women in Corporate Leadership. Check out our other clips for more on Aware's inaugural silent auction. Find out who put in the winning bid for Marine Parade MP Tin Palings in famous Kate Spade bag.